what is going on guys just dumped the boat in today is the day before the last day of practice for the fw costa series it's tuesday the costa starts thursday so we're going to get out in today we got a full day ahead of us going to try and find some bass i'm going to go out start on top water this morning i just dumped my boat in it's floating out there this guy's nice enough said he's going to pick me up take me to my boat and then we're going to get started fishing we're going to go to a shallow point start off on top water let's go The big one I caught was yesterday. Of course. Yeah, it, it almost went six. Could have made you some good money. Yeah, it would have. All right. Thank you. You bet. You. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. Thanks, Sean. guys just pulling up to the first point here we are going to throw some top water on it we got a big shallow point that comes out and uh, turn on some panoptics get it going pull out big old whopper plopper and chuck that thing along this point hope to get bit there we go i'm throwing the big whopper plopper you can see these rocks coming out of the water for a ways Start chucking the deep dive around a little bit, see if we can get a few active fish this morning. Come hit it. There we go, first cast, no way. <laughs> That's awesome. First cast with the deep diver. Not a giant by any means. <laughs> it's a crappie. What the heck? First fish of the day on the deep diver. We got ourselves a nice slab. 11 inch crappie. <laughs> wow. On the KVD. See ya. Well, we're gonna keep going with the deep diver. That means there's shad on this point. That means fish are feeding and bass should be in the mix. If they're feeding on shad. We're gonna keep throwing it. I bet we're gonna catch one here. Okay, just pulled back up in a little cove here. We got some brush out in front of these docks. So I'm gonna try to drag my jig over it, see if we can get any fish to commit on it. Oh gosh, I'm putting on sunscreen here and I get hit. Fish picks me up. Can't sit back out there. Keep putting on sunscreen. That's always when the fish bite it, when you're doing something. So better keep putting on sunscreen and uh, surely I'll get bit now. There he is, yep, around the corner of that dock. I missed this fish twice. <laughs> and then he came back and ate it while I was putting on sunscreen. That's funny. There we go, another little bass. This one's about 13 inches long. Not too shabby on the jig. See you, buddy. There's some brush on the corner of this dock and that was my third flip in there. And I've been putting on sunscreen. And he bit it twice, and I missed him because he's little, I think, and this is a big old three-quarter ounce of jig. And then got him that third time. Third time's a charm. Oh, just had one take it. Oh, gosh, he let go right there. Why'd he let go? There he is. Picked it back up as soon as I dropped it down. There's a keeper. Skinny 15-incher, but he would be a keeper in a tournament. All right. Well guys, there's a little tip for you. If you miss it, don't pull that lure out of the water. Just drop it back down, 
they'll come and eat it. Obviously, skinny bass like this are starving for some food. See ya. Not sure why, there's tons of shad in this lake. But now I'm gonna leave this spot. There's a ton of brush piles right here. I could keep fishing it, but uh, just gonna leave it alone for tournament day. Shoot, you guys just missed it. I just set the hook on another keeper ah! and dropped him and released him. He was right out in front of this other dock. And uh, just after I said I wasn't gonna set the hook on a fish over there, <laughs> I set the hook on this one. And he stole both my rage crawls. Stole both of my pinchers. That is the last green pumpkin rage car I have. Well, looks like I'm gonna be finding some more brush on docks today because that's two keepers and two bites in just about 20 minutes. There's one. Just had a little guy take it. I think I got him. <laughs> a really little guy. Oh, stuck on something. There he comes. Wow. Like I said, this guy wanted a whole three quarter ounce jig. That's pretty crazy. Another one. Thanks, buddy. Well, the fish are just all over these docks at the moment, right in this pocket. It's main lake out there and then a little pocket right off main lake. They're holding on these secondary pockets, it looks like. There we go, hooked up at this dock, right underneath the dock. And what do we got? A little 12, thir probably 13 inch largemouth. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thanks for biting. Oh shoot, he got off and he hooked me on a brush pile. That stinks. There's one, just picked up the worm. There we go, hooked up. I switched the braid because I broke off twice in the same brush pile. This brush pile is loaded. Wow, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder how many fish are down there. There's a keeper, a little 15 incher on the big 10 inch tight lines UV worm. Gonna have to start using that. Thanks, buddy. Bite again on tournament day. Well, that'll work. This brush pile is absolutely loaded. I just broke off a jig. I broke off a shaky head. So I switched to my braid rod and uh, got bit, missed him, and got bit again and caught him. That's crazy. Well, I'm gonna save this brush pile for tournament day now and uh, move on to the next one. That's what I'm talking about. Okay guys, it's nice finally catching a few fish on brush I'm finding. Um, I have everything in my compartments opened up, drying out. It's supposed to rain later today, so I'm going to get it as dry as I can, prevent rust, prevent corrosion in your reels. You guys need to take care of your equipment, um, make it last longer. There we go. Bass came out and smoked it while I was reeling it in. Made a swim jig out of that football head. It was a swimming. Thanks, buddy. I watched him eat it. That was pretty cool. Hello? Hey, babe. Oh, just set the hook on a fish and trying to hide it from this boat going by. No, you're good. It's a, it's like a four pounder. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's staring at me, so uh, I'm acting like I'm just fishing. All right, he's not looking anymore. Oh my gosh. What a toad. I caught him on your rod and reel too. Yeah. What? Heck yes, that is so awesome. There we go. <laughs> See ya. That was a four and a half pounder, babe. Nice. Yeah. You're good luck. <laughs> wow. Caught him on a jig. Oh, that's so awesome. Deep water. No, I'm. Well, I'm in 20 foot, so yeah. No, it's not deep. <laughs> That's not deep. Oh, I'm pumped. Good job. Thanks, honey. I'm just fishing brush that I graft over next to docks, and it's working. Spot lock is so nice. I can just walk to the back of my boat here. 
fish this brush pile thoroughly. Except I can't do this when I'm in the Costa event because my co-angler will be back here and uh, can't let him get the fish. Well, starting to rain. Put on the rain jacket. We will see you guys when we catch a fish. Probably get off the lake here before too long if it starts storming. There's supposed to be a tornado warning tonight. Well guys, I just pulled the boat off the water. We're going to call it a day. I'm going to go get some food in my belly. I've been out here about 9 hours so far. Probably would have had 12 pounds if it was a tournament. Not as good as I was hoping for, but I did fish all new stuff. And I did a lot of searching today. I did a lot of graphing in front of docks, trying to find these brush piles, and then I'd fish the brush piles. Probably caught, oh, only 5, five or 6 keepers, but uh, probably caught 12 little dink fish. And uh, it was pretty good. They were biting the jig and the 10 inch worm today. So uh, I'll link those down below. You can go check them out. Stay tuned for the next video to come out. It's going to be another day of pre-fishing. And then we will be fishing the FLW Costa Series. I'll be putting a day one and two video out from that as well. So we'll see you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.